Hey guys, what's up? Bisected Tron here from One Hive Gazette here with the next video, and this one is a Town Hall 9 bowler attack strategy video. So this replay comes from Anthony, a Genesis member who was hanging out in one of his old clans, told me to come over and visit because he's been using this bowler strategy and been having a lot of success on these anti three star bases at Town Hall 9. So this is just one of the attacks that ended up working for him, and uh, he had a lot of three stars, a lot of su success with this strategy. And as you can see, the heroes aren't the highest level, but besides that, a pretty solid base, uh, you know, solid layout. He did it on other layouts as well. This is just one example, and uh, the concept's there, so focus on that. This has the CC troops and everything, so uh, full, typical war base that you're going to see, and uh, this strategy just crushes it. So I'll go ahead and show the replay, talk about it a little bit, but uh, this is something that we could start seeing more. I said uh, in the... Uh, in the update video that bowlers are something I think are going to become more popular because now they only take up six troops to base. Uh, even at Town Hall 9, he can bring five of them uh, for a total of 30. And uh, especially with those level three bowlers at Town Hall 9, they do a lot of damage and uh, they have solid number of hit points. Plus the heal, they don't have that healing penalty that the queen has because she's a hero. They have the full uh, benefit, full percentage of the healers. So uh, only has to bring three, and those three are going to heal those bowlers uh, pretty much no matter what. If there's a lot of defenses on it or CC troops uh, or a defensive hero, that could change things. But for the most part, in just an everyday uh, walk, the three healers will heal them up probably better than the four healers heal up the queen. So uh, works out nicely here. Goes ahead and drops down the queen and her healers first. Uh, lose out the CC troops. You don't want the CC troops to go over to the bowlers. So takes care of those first, which is very smart. Has two rages for his queen walk because he's getting a lot of value for that. There go the bowlers though. Uh, all five of them coming out. And uh, the funnel was created at the beginning. Make sure you create that funnel. And keep in mind that bowlers only shoot over like one tile. They're kind of like a wizard. So uh, they're going to ignore that elixir storage and just keep walking. So you have to keep that in mind when you're doing this attack. Uh, right here though, they kind of shoot down anything that would make them go all the way to the left and uh, start beating through the wall and this is the strategy basically have the queen start on one side the bowlers on the opposite side have them meet up in the middle and then uh, send in a group of valks in the king and just kind of make a big push because the bowlers and the queen are going to take out the side defenses anything that's going to flank or distract your valks is going to be taken out so it's basically a one-way shot to the middle of the base for the Valks. So they come right through, and uh, Valks are great at making that straight line through the base. Has the jump spell. Used some great wall breakers at the beginning, so he was able to save that jump for right here. Uh, the bowlers are still up, though, and uh, as long as the three healers stay on them, it's very hard to take them out, especially if they're not encountering any kind of uh, heroes or CC troops, which they didn't. So still getting great value for them. A few hogs, which is always a good uh, touch to the attack because the defenses are distracted on the Valks and stuff. And because there's so many healers, they can, you know, pop off, heal the Valks, the king, which they did. Now they're back on the queen because when you have seven healers, that's a lot of healing value. Uh, worked out great here. Awesome attack to Anthony using the bowlers to get the three star. Uh, but that's it though, guys. That's the strategy basically. Uh, it's been working out very well for Anthony, and I think uh, if you guys try it, you might notice that uh, now that you can bring the five max bowlers in the CC at Town Hall 9, this could be a powerful attack strategy if you start them on opposite sides and have them meet up in the middle uh, to follow the Valks into the base. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, Sectatron out.